Okay, so this is our 2006 Peugeot Boxer minivan turned camper van. Um, I'll do a full lap of the outside. We're having to do this in Asda car park because my road is really narrow and there wouldn't be room to film. <laughs> um, so you see here, it's got a completely galvanized body, so it doesn't rust, there's no rust on it. Um, one thing to note is a little dent up here and there's also a little dent on the side, just here, but not much to note. Stickers can come off if you don't like them. <laughs> and here's the port for the hookup. It's got a spare tire as well. And here's the front, all in working order. Okay. So the back, it's 5.5 meters long and 2.4 meters tall. And there's a step here, which if you press in, really good action on the door and here's the inside so the main living space there's this bit of sideboard which pops up if you want to do some shopping or whatever come in and it just closes down like that super easy here is the sink area so in the under the sink there is fresh water and wastewater storage this is for the toilet the brush you can have the brush if you want um, but yeah, fresh water, wastewater, really easy to carry. Like they never get too heavy even when they're full. And up balls, so it just runs straight through like this. Great tap, really powerful actually. Um, and then coming around here, we have two gas hobs, work really well. Um, and a drawer here for cutlery is what we used it for. A little fridge so this fridge doesn't work on the battery but it works when you're hooked up so that's that uh, we keep a crate there for storage and there's also this seat here just for sitting in when it's wet and under here you've got an absolute ton of storage too otherwise storage wise we have this shelf here we keep the curtains these hook up on the uh, doors when they're shut and then these curtains are built in uh, and also all of this space up here. So we have these boxes we fill with stuff uh, to keep it from flying around, medicine kit. <laughs> and then up here, we've got a skylight. So it has a blind, things like that, or it has a fly blind so when you've got it open. That's really handy. Just opens by pulling out and pushing up like that. It goes nice and wide and then shuts easily. These lights here work all from a control panel at the back. This is a net storage. Uh, and then coming around, so that's the main living. We've got um, this little toilet room, uh, which is amazing. So if you're doing wild camping and stuff, it opens up so much possibility. Toilet's clean, obviously, <laughs> um, and toilet holder. We've also got hooks up here, so you can put like towels and other storage, like putting coats and stuff like that, yeah. And it locks from the inside and outside by this pushy button. We have the bed area. Um, so this up here we use for storing all of our clothes. It's really, it's, you can fit so much stuff there. There's more curtains for the back window, side window, curtain here. This is an amazing, completely memory foam bed. It is so comfortable, like best night's sleep ever in here. Um, and we're five foot 10, 11, and we can fit fine. But maybe if you're any bigger, it might be a problem. So I'll show you the control panel, which is all from the bed. So. Uh, in here, you can put cigarette lighters to have USB charging points. USB charges there. Um, and you can see what voltage the ledger battery is on. So we would, we've only ever been probably about four days away without driving in between, and it's never died on us. Um, I would say you probably only have to drive for about 10, 15 minutes to fully charge it, which is really good. Um, so these are the lights. So you can see the light comes on there. This is, the second light is for in here and here. So that's like a reading light and you can actually turn it on and off there as well. And the second reading light is here, which you can turn off there as well. Okay. The third, I think is the garage light, which is under the bed storage. Uh, and then the fourth is the light for in the toilet, which is great in the night. <laughs> so you never left in the dark. Amazing. Okay. Fab. All right. And then the last one is for the tap. So 
you saw that working earlier. So that's the control panel, the bed, storage. Then we come to the under storage. So we're selling this van with a chock for leveling it out. This is a sun canopy, which is pictured. Amazing, really, really quick to put up, probably about five minutes and it does the job well. And then this is like a drive away awning, you know, for maybe when it's a bit rainier and stuff, um, which we haven't put up. It was from the previous owner, but there's a picture of that as well. Okay, oh, so I'll just take you around the back to look at the other side of the storage in the back. So in here, you can see, go through. There is uh, this box, which is full of little van essentials, which will keep in there. So extension leads, uh, the 240 volt hookup leads. Uh, that's a shower, which again, we've never used, but it charges. It's pretty good. I've seen it in action, but not used it. Uh, converters for Europe, blah, blah, blah. And this is where the fuses are for the plugs inside. So the plugs inside don't actually work at the moment. We haven't really looked into getting them fixed very well because we didn't really find we needed them because there is a plug there and that does work. So we just feed an extension cord through, but you might obviously want to fix that, I don't know. And the leisure battery is inside here and that is the switch for just turning it off, but we keep it on when it, we're driving because it charges much better like that for some reason. Oh, okay, so that's that. Closing the door. They both open nice and wide. Um, and then I'll take you into the cab. So as you can see, that was a captain's chair. So we've just swiveled that back round. Uh, this is the cab, really comfortable seats. You know, we've been done like 14 hour drives in those. You don't get a numb bum. <laughs> um, and everything in here works perfectly um, on the dash, all the blowers, lights, everything like that. Oh, gearbox, the engine, not the engine, steering wheel. Blah, blah, blah and we have all of its service history original manual and everything like that so you don't have to guess on any paperwork everything that's ever been done to the van we have document on which is really good especially for a van of this age you probably know that uh that's all the documentation here we'll obviously hand that over to you and those are some sunshades which uh you can pin up on the these two windows and this window for when it's hot and it does keep the sun out really good and also the light when you want to sleep so yeah, I think that's about everything. I'll just turn the engine on and you can see it in action. So here we are. Starts with these. You can see the lights come on and then they drop off once it's turned on properly. That's the brake light. And you see the mileage there, which will go up a tiny bit because we need to drive it a tiny bit before we sell it. And also there's this button for internal lights as well, which turns on those big lights on the back. You can see there. It's pretty good. Radio's all in working order. Yeah, she's a great little runner.